Hey guys, B8KD here. Um, I recently invested in a, a interdictor ship. Um, I'm gonna try to make some money uh, solo gate camping. I got slapped by a gate camp, so might as well slap some people back. Um, how I have this guy built is just a bunch of small pulse lasers. It's kind of a budget build. I only have a Mark V sphere launcher. The Mark VII was like 10 mil more with just a slight range difference. Not a big deal. A interruptive web of fire. A Mark VII scrambler. Only has a uh, warp jam tank 3. I'm hoping that will cut it. Um, but this is just really budget. I have a steel plate just for the extra armor and uh, uh, activation on armor. I have a Imperial heat sink for the extra damage, try to nuke people down, and just a scout uh, small micro warp drive. This is pretty closely related to my uh, last build I had in my last video. I'm um, just checking out the Coercer Interdictor um, roll bonus here. You have an optimal range increase, which is pretty nice. Um, I like the beam lasers a lot, but um, the range was a little bit too far it was like 16 kilometers so I, I can't really make that work with this budget build and a scrambler so I had to go with the eight kilometer small uh, pulse lasers um, it does have a plus one interdiction sphere module license so we can launch those uh, jamming spheres uh, per propulsion jamming bonus 5% uh, effective range which is kind of nice and I only have a uh, few points in the uh, advanced destroyer command I just trained maybe 12 hours worth of destroyer skills so it's it's a pretty weak ship um, if we look here command bonus is only at uh, two out of five um, we go to maintenance technology we have no points in armor anything so that's why I just put the reinforcement plates Destroyer defense. I only have <laughs> three points in uh, the regular defense, so it's pretty squishy of a ship. Um, electronic wise, same thing, uh, only three points out of four. So I'm hoping uh, my damage can take some people out. I do have small lasers trained pretty high. Um, so our DPS is at a average 118, I think about 300 with the uh, heat sink popped. So uh, let's see if I can uh, make some money off this thing. Um, it is pretty budget, but let's get right in. I just wanted to throw this plug in. I wanted to thank uh, Together We Solo for giving me the idea. He's been doing this recently in a few of his videos. <laughs> And it looked like a lot of fun, so I decided to try it out, and it definitely is. Um, I'll leave his uh, channel in the description. You guys check it out. He makes some pretty good uh, PvP vids as well. All right, let's get right into it. Well, this is a big shout out to uh, Hellstrom here. Me and him were just chatting. Um, we're gonna hit up some uh, PvP together soon, but he just. Uh, said he was hoarding succubuses, and he sent me one for free. I asked him what he wanted, and he said absolutely nothing. Uh, this man is an absolute legend. Uh, I really do appreciate it, man. And it's time to build the succubus. Again. <laughs> time to slap some cheeks, baby. In 22 hours. Well, shout out goes to uh, Paperboy710 and Paperboy's clone. Um, he says, respect what would be a great assault breacher fit. I'm going to send him what I've been using. And then he sent me a much respect here with 2.5 mil each. I appreciate it, my friend. The support really helps. Well, I woke up this morning and I do have expired contract, but it was the thought that counts from caffeine 88 um, It's he said like the vids bro. This is for your succubus rebuild fun was for 10 mil Darn says it expired. Thanks anyways, my friend 
Um, I really do appreciate the support. We also got one from uh, Substrate Indie. If I said that right. A little something towards your new sucky. Love the content. Um, he put it as a hundred million isk. This is just awesome. This is definitely going to fund my rigs I'm going to slap on my succubus. Um, I can't wait for uh, tier 8 as well so I can slap the tier 3 rigs on. But uh, this really does help guys. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Lockdown time. Thanks again guys. Looks like we got our first kill. Well, let's see what we had. Ah, not bad. Two auras we missed. We got a scrambler and some punisher assault. Looks like he was heading to his corp or something. Two millipop. I will take it. Looks like we got another one. A Caracal Navy issue. Thank God he is AFK. Because he would completely slap me. guy is pretty AFK. Thank goodness. Navy issue bites the dust. Not too bad a loot. Hundred and five mil bites the dust. Didn't really use have much anything. Pretty much a budget. Caracal. Not really sure what he was doing there. Alright, let's go ahead and just wait right here. See if we can uh, catch another one. gonna slap me ah. well, I 
could try to take him out. This guy knows what he's doing. I'll get out of the bubble too and get out of here. That guy could have killed me so easy. a caracal got him disrupted to be honest if this guy had medium rapids he could probably kill me at least he's flying safe Caracal trainers can just be uh, restored with your voucher. And another one bites the dust. that the game's like super bugged out a mining caracal huh hmm. interesting Chinese caracal trainer. See if we can get to him quick enough. Oop. Didn't mean to pop another bubble, but let's take him out. Bites the dust. with all these Caracal trainers.
he's fighting back. That's what I like to see. Nice try, my friend. Nice try. Same build, just a bunch of junk on him. I'll loot it anyways. Another Caracal trainer, what's going on out here? It just it probably has the same build. This guy attacks me, he can probably kill me too. Is this the meta just rolling around <laughs> null second caracal trainers? Another one bites the dust. That's pretty much the same build. Another one. Another capsule. Got a covert ops imicus. Popped both those pods. Let's check our loot. Oh, nice. At least we got his cloaking device. That wasn't too bad. Looks like I got a couple people warping in. Ooh, we got a mammoth. And a magnate. Vex or Navy issue over there. I don't think I'm going to mess with. We got a mammoth kill. See what we got. Ooh, 59k pyrite. That's actually quite a bit. 
Let's type in 59,000. Hmm. Doesn't go for too much. Let's check out our kill log on that one. Yeah, it looks like he was just transporting pyrite. This guy fights back. I am just totally screwed, so let's uh, let's try it out. Uh oh, he's uh, targeting me. Uh oh. Is this going to be a two for one? Let's see. Oh no, my bubble disappeared right at the last second. Oh, that lucky guy. Let's check our Vexor loot. Oof. He's actually loaded with stuff. Uh -oh. I don't have any room to carry it. I took all that pyrite. Alright, I got another one here. Got him. This guy can probably kill me if he fights back, but he didn't. Oof. Okay, I forgot to show my last kill. I got this Covert Ops um, with a cloaking device, which is some good money there. 16 mil. I will take it. Well, overall, that was a pretty fun trip. Um, this is all the loot I collected. I think it said about 100 mil, um, but everything sold for around uh, 60 to 75 mil. Um, I do like the solo gate camp method. Um, I killed a lot of covert ops, which their cloaking device uh, sells for quite a bit. And we got a few other AFK people. Um, the reason why I like doing this solo is because it gives people an actual chance to fight back. Um, this crappy destroyer um, basically really sucks. Just about anything I killed, even those Caracal trainers could have killed me if they weren't AFK. Um, or at least given me a good fight back. So It's not like a massive gate camp where people just or slapping cheeks and giving no one you know their time of day they just kill them and move on but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed the video it was a lot of fun to make and i'll see you on the next one peace